Welcome back to Life Class Live at Radio City Music Hall, right in the heart of New York City. Yay! That's how we're <laughs> feeling around here. Yay! And this morning, I'm very happy to say that she's here with us in Studio 57. We could spend an hour listing her many accomplishments, television icon, Oscar nominee, global philanthropist. I think we can just say Oprah Winfrey. Oprah is here. Welcome. Hey. Well, thank you what so much. What a pleasure to have you here. I'm delighted to be with you guys because now, you know what I do? What? I, I get up in time for the eye opener. <laughs> the eye opener. Because you know, See? you'll learn all that there is That's and right. all that matters. That's and all that there right is here. and all that matters. Mm -hmm. And then I'm done. I I'm, like I'm my done for the day. Co here. I, I, from the moment, let me just tell you, Charlie, from the moment I heard that this was going to happen, yes. and may I say, I believe I was one of the first people to know. <laughs> well, yes, yes, I <laughs> yes, you were. Because I, I heard... called you or because you called me? <laughs> uh, I took her phone call first. I'm sure you did. And from Mine the was moment, an email, by the way. <laughs> when, yes, when I first heard that you all were going to be together, yeah. I was so excited for her. And all the people who were saying, how do you feel that Gail is leaving? Oh, I, I was so excited because this is her sweet spot. She loves it. I used to call her Eyewitness News Gail because <laughs> whenever I wanted any information about what's going on in the world, I didn't have to read the paper. I just called yeah, Gail. Gail's oh. excited, too, but this is very boring. Yeah. Let's go on with something else because well, this oh. is the thing, Oprah. Before, in addition to what's Charlie Rose really like, right, right. people always ask, when is Oprah coming on? When is Oprah coming on? And today's the so day. So she's here. So let's start talking about OWN yeah. Network. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> when you set out to create a network, tell me what you wanted to do and where does this thing called Life Class fit in? Well, let's say when I set out to do it, uh, David Zaslov, uh, at Head Discovery. Of the Discovery Network. Yeah, Discovery Network had come to me holding a copy of O Magazine, Magazine, saying he wanted to be able to create a channel that did exactly what the magazine did, what inspired people to live their best lives. And so that idea is something that had been stirring inside myself for a very long time. So the idea of creating a network was something that I'd wanted to do. Had I known that it was this difficult, uh, I might have done something else. Really? If it, you knew that it was going to be this difficult, you might have not done it. Oh, absolutely. But you what didn't think was, it was going to be easy. I didn't think, well, would you let me answer? Okay, okay. I you didn't, didn't think, think it was going to be easy. That's exactly my point, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't <laughs> think it was going to be easy, but I did not know, if I, if I knew then what I knew now, I might have made some different choices. I would say, uh, if I were writing a book about it, I could call the book 101 Mistakes. Mm -hmm. Give us a, maybe the top yeah. five. Uh, the top five was launching when we really weren't ready to launch. Mm -hmm. And doing that because you'd announced that you were going to do it. Mm -hmm. And it's like having the wedding when you know you're not ready <laughs> and you're walking down the aisle yes. and you're saying, oh, I don't know if we should be walking down the aisle. Yeah. Maybe we should have postponed this. But the invitations are out. But the invitations Guests are out, are so there. we have to go the ahead. Church. And so yeah. maybe, you know, when I think about it now, but now it's really Monday morning quarterbacking, okay. uh, I would have probably waited until I actually finished the Oprah show. Right. Because right. from the day that David Zaslav came in to see me, I said to him, you know, the thing that I'm most worried about is who's going to lead this train because I can't do it. I know how hard it is to do a daily show, yes. do we not? Yeah. And I'm, do, I'm in Chicago and that's in Los Angeles and that's going to be very hard. And uh, last year actually, I was sitting literally at the feet of Lorne Michaels. Yeah. And Lorne Michaels said to me, yeah. you have no idea yeah. what, you're what, getting what, into. what you've stepped yourself into. He also said, you're going to have a lot of schadenfreude. You're going to have moments where people, he said, nobody wants to see you come off the Oprah Winfrey show yeah. of all those 25 years of success and step right into the, 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 the network business. You've got to pay your dues. He said, they don't want you. They're going to want, they do not want you to do well. And you will, you will see because that. Because he says, and you're going to have some failures yes. and you're going to have to use some expletives. Yes. Mm, you've yes. been using expletives? I had to use a couple. All right. You're going to have to use, some, yeah. Here's what else is happening. What? They're writing things about you that are not flattering. Yeah, I hear that. So how does that feel for you? Well, you have I will, been I will tell you so loved, such an icon, you could do no wrong. This is the thing you have to know, though, What, no matter what anybody writes about you. And I learned this when I was doing The Color Purple with Steven Spielberg. Mm. And uh, at the time, I think he was on the cover of Time magazine. And he said, I'm not going to read it. And I said, how could you not read? You're on the cover of Time. And he said, because if you believe all the good stuff, then you have to believe when people write things that are unflattering. Mm -hmm. And so you're right. I've lived in this sort of glow for the past, 
I'd mm. say 10 years yeah. at least, because the climb up was also uh, not as easy sure. as everybody uh, remembers. But uh, last week, I saw one headline that mm -hmm. really sort of knocked me off center. And then what I decided. What it was, was the it? was uh, the USA Today headline that what said, Oprah not quite standing on her own. And it uh, just did. And you felt that way. Yeah, now yeah. what's interesting about that headline is what's really interesting in terms of life class, life lessons. USA did, Today did a headline in 1988 that said, Oprah, the world's biggest classroom, when I was doing this online yeah, thing. Right. That's my favorite headline <laughs> yes, ever. Yes. It's the only one in all of the years that I actually that cut saved, out, yes. that I saved. So I thought it was interesting that the newspaper who had give, that had given me my favorite all-time mm. headline, I was like, oh, look, Yeah, but USA did you did. ever think, this is really, I don't need this. I got everything I want. Oh, I got yes. friends, I got money, I got plenty of places I can go and do whatever I want to do. Mm -hmm. Why don't I just say, I don't need this and goodbye? Well, the reason why I wouldn't do that, first of all, I would be happy uh, in my garden yeah. under the trees reading with my book. dog's reading yeah. book. I'd be yeah. happy with doing that. Yes. As Stedman says, about two weeks. <laughs> and then, uh, because I'm a very driven also person. True. Also, I believe that I am here to fulfill a calling that because I am a female who is African-American, who's been so blessed in the world, there's never going to be a time to quit. Mm -hmm. I, will, I, will, I, I will die in the midst of doing what I love to do. And that is using my voice and using my life to try to inspire other people to live the best of theirs. But did you ever think about quitting? Didn't you have a moment where you go, God, I, as Charlie just said, I don't need it. I don't need another pair of shoes. I don't need well, a dress. Well, yeah. I thought that last week. I thought that last week with all the negative press. But, yeah. you know, you it's, just, it's just press. It's just press. Yeah. It's just press. You know, because a thing appears to not be doing well, and I'd like to say this to everybody, because you failed at something, which we haven't failed, but because you failed does not make you a failure. And when you know that in the core of yourself, you can keep trying or you can use whatever is happening in that moment to say, maybe I need to new, move in a new direction. Actually, I feel better about our network own today mm. than I ever have. The most painful thing for me, most painful thing, was to have to let people go. I had to lay off 30 yes, people. Yes. But we live in a country where lots of people are getting laid off. I lay off 30 people and it's like it's the, you know. What did you say to them? And how did you? Uh, well, I actually didn't do it. Uh, we had a, a team of personnel people to come in to do it because we wanted to all happen at the same time. And that isn't what I'm good at doing. You know, the first time I had to, to let somebody go in 1988 it took me two hours. I cried more than she did. Yeah. And at the end of it, she said, yeah. are you firing me? Yes. And I went, well, well, kind of. So no, I didn't actually, kinda. actually do it. No. Well, so, kinda. but what's your strategy now? What's your strategy? Yeah. Because you do, when you say my you strategy feel is now. My strategy is our strategy, because nobody does this alone. Our strategy is to do what we should have done from the beginning, and that is to build one show, one hour, one night at a time, and then move to the next night. So Saturday nights are fantastic for us, and we're now building Sunday nights, and then you build that, and then you move, 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 move. But yeah. you know what they want to see. What they, they want to see is more Oprah, more Oprah, more Oprah, more Oprah. Mm, well, we had a great Saturday night, so I don't think that... You know, I said from the beginning, this channel can't be based upon me. It has to be based upon my philosophy and my ideas. You know, what I wanted to create and will create is a channel and an environment where people come and we don't waste your time. It's always meaningful. Just like CBS Morning News. Yes, indeed. Yes. And I think, well, you know, everything takes its time. I think I would say even for this particular show, you all know the history of this show. Yes. There have been a lot of people put you, in the show. I think they finally got it right. You have to stop talking because we're going to hit a commercial break. <laughs> okay, let's go to the commercial break. But you'll stay. You'll stay. Yeah. But of course. Next hour, we'll talk more. Yes. Thank you. Back